Tech Time, I'm going to show you all how to create and send an invoice with Wix invoices on Wix.com. Just a disclaimer, you do need a Wix.com account. You need a website, and that website doesn't necessarily have to be published, but it's best if it is. Wix invoices is very, very easy to send invoices. If you're one of those companies who sends invoices every day, this will work for you. So if you're trying to build a website, Wix.com will help. I've done a video about this. Cards, top right. Just a disclaimer, this video is not sponsored. But let's get started. So you're here on your home page, your My Apps page. You want to select the Invoice button and you want to select Manage Invoice. Now you're going to be bring to the My Invoices and you're going, to, you're going to be shown all of your past invoices. You want to create new invoice. You want to press on New Invoice to create a new invoice. What you want to do now is you do want to choose a customer. So let me go do that now. I've chosen a customer. I've entered in their email address, which is just myself for a testing one. Date of issue, which is the day today, which is the 19th of November. Okay. Due date, I'm going to do 1st of December. Product or service. Test one. Description. Just a test. Price, we're going to set this price at $3. You can add tax if you want, not necessarily, it doesn't matter. Legal terms, you can add notes here, add notes here, um, add legal terms here. Okay, and then what you want to do is you want to first of all, you want to first off press save as draft. So your draft has been saved. I'll tell you guys the reason to do this in a moment. But when you go back to the main page, once my internet actually loads, as you can see, I finally got back to this page. But really, you can see you've got your invoice and it's set as a draft. You want to press on the learn more of the three dots button. You want to preview it. Now, this preview is what the person who received it. This is the person, this is the view, this is what they're going to see. This is the thing. Of what they're actually going to see on their end when they open up their invoice. Press on the three dots, you can do all of this. What I recommend you doing before you send the invoice, head over to payments. And you need to set up at least one payment option. You could use credit or debit card offline or PayPal. And for example, if I was to do offline, what I would do is I would add payment, add the payment, and then add payment. But if you want to send it off, so you press on send. You should, what should the subject line say? Add a message. You can add your custom thing there. And you can press on send. And that invoice is on its way. It's being sent. Right, the person's come up come up to your shop front. They're like, right, here's the three dollars. And you want to as offline payment, you want to add that, select three dots, add payment. Three dollars, add payment. And it's being paid. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If that's the tutorial, if you enjoyed, thumbs up. You don't forget to share and do not forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.